Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. One of the most important variables when it comes to espresso extraction is the temperature of the water inside the boiler. There are three primary ways of controlling that temperature. The first is a mechanical thermostat, the second is a pressure stat, and the third is a PID. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the benefits and the drawbacks of each of the methods, and I'll also explain how they work and what the result is inside the cup. The first method that I'm going to discuss for controlling water temperature inside a home espresso machine is a mechanical thermostat. Mechanical thermostats are most commonly found on single boiler machines like the ECM CASA or the Ranchilio Silvia or Escasso machines. Uh, there's, there's a wide variety of machines that use this type of technology. And the way it works is it's a device like this which I have in my hand and each one of these has a rating. This one here is rated at 100 degrees Celsius. And the way it works is your heating element inside the boiler turns on, and once it reaches that set temperature, 100 degrees, it turns the heating element off. The downside of a mechanical thermostat is the variance. So your heating element often will overshoot by quite a bit, by as much as 8 to 10 percent. And the same is true on the other end, on the cooling end. It won't turn back on uh, oftentimes until the temperature has dropped by about 10 percent. So you have that wide range, which isn't ideal, because like I said, temperature is so important when you're extracting coffee. Because of the large variance and the large range of temperature using a mechanical thermostat, one of the things you may read or hear about is temperature surfing. And temperature surfing is basically trying to guess when the machine is at the ideal temperature. People will use cues like a light on a machine when the heating element is on or off, and then they'll count down a certain amount of time to begin their extraction. Of course, that's less than ideal, and it's not that precise. The second method I'm going to discuss doesn't use temperature at all, it actually uses pressure. That of course is a pressure stat. Pressure stats are most commonly found in heat exchanger or dual boiler machines. I've got one right here. This is a Matter XB110 pressure stat. And the way this device works is that there's a spring inside here where you set the tension. From the factory, they're usually set at about 1 or 1.1 bars. However, this one here, the Matter XB110, has a range of 0.5 to 1.5 bars. The lower the pressure, the cooler the water is going to be, and the higher the pressure, the hotter the water is going to be inside your boiler. The precision of a pressure stat is better than that of a mechanical thermostat because the range is tighter. Uh, the typical range on a pressure stat will be 0.1 or 0.2 bars, and you'll hear it clicking, and that clicking is it turning the heating element on and off, and that happens every 30 to 60 seconds or so on a typical heat exchanger machine. The third and most precise way of controlling temperature inside an espresso machine is a PID. A PID is essentially a digital thermostat. The way it works is very much like the cruise control in your car, meaning a car can add gas, but it doesn't break. And the PID is the same thing. It turns the heating element on and off, but it doesn't cool the water in any way. When the heating element is on, of course, you're heating, but there's no active way of cooling. So it has an algorithm that calculates your set point, and it turns that element on and off several hundred times in a minute to achieve a set temperature. A PID gives you very precise control over your extraction temperature. PIDs are now found in all kinds of machines, in single boilers, heat exchangers, and dual boilers. I'd like to take just a moment to explain heat exchanger machines. Most heat exchanger machines do have pressure stats, and they've traditionally always had pressure stats. However, in recent years, we're starting to see PIDs on heat exchanger machines. And I just want to explain that with a heat exchanger, you're controlling the temperature inside the boiler, and that's the service side. So that's the side where you get steam and hot water from. Of course, there's a relationship between the extraction temperature and the pressure inside the boiler, just like there would be with a pressure stat. But the PID doesn't directly control the extraction temperature because the water still has to pass through the heat exchanger. Where PIDs shine is in dual boiler machines. A PID can control both the espresso boiler, so you get exact precision on your extraction temperature, and it can control the temperature inside the steam boiler, so if you want more pressure, more steam, you can do that as well. There's also hybrid machines. So there's some machines like the Profitech 300 behind me that has both a PID, it has the PID on the uh, espresso boiler and it has a pressure stat on the steam boiler. You find that also in some commercial machines like the Lamarzoco Linea. For most people, a machine with a mechanical thermostat or a pressure stat will suffice, especially if you're having milk-based drinks where you're changing the temperature of the beverage anyways by adding milk. But for those who want absolute precision on their extractions, a PID is the way to go.
If you have any questions about the different ways of heating water inside an espresso machine, please feel free to reach out and ask for help. We're always ready to offer it. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more technical videos like this, more videos about coffee and espresso. Thank you for watching and have a great day.